we're going to talk about the top four ways to get listings and create unstoppable leads. Four ways to get listings and unstoppable leads at the same time. Listings, 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 get listings. Have a listing inventory. Having a listing inventory is absolutely critical to your business success. It's crucial and it's crucial to your business building. It's crucial to your business plan. Here's the thing though. I don't think I have to spend any time convincing you that you need to maintain a healthy listing inventory. Gary Keller in his book, Millionaire Agent, teaches about the three L's, leads, listings, leverage. And I agree with that, but we're going to discuss leverage because he has a little bit of a different mentality of what leverage means. Okay. Everyone out there is effectively teaching the same thing that the goal is to list a lot of properties, be a master at listing properties. And if you list a lot of homes, then your success is in direct proportion to the amount of listings that you carry. That's kind of the understanding out there. Now, do you agree with that understanding? I don't, I don't agree with that right now. It's not the whole truth. It's a partial truth. The thought pattern is that you just simply put a property into the system, the multiple listing system, MLS. And there's lots of different multiple listing services out there. So effectively what you're doing or the mentality behind that is you're just listing homes, list a home. And in doing that, you effectively hire or, or engage 2000 or more real estate agents around your market area to sell that listing. The other aspect of that that's really good is that everybody has different websites and there's lots of different listing sites out there right there. So it just kind of filters into all these things and it just builds up and there's just all this exposure through all those systems. It's amazing and it's awesome and it's true. And this is a very good reason that people need to list their home with a licensed real estate professional for sure, right? Yes, yes, yes. But let's, let me ask you this. How many listings can you handle? What's the magic number? I mean, handle. I mean, serve everyone equally and maintain your ability to communicate, right? And here's the important thing, fulfill your promises. This is huge. This is enormously important. Or am I wrong? What? Don't listen to this guy. Just get as many listings as possible. Get assistance. Buyers agents just keep loading them on, man. Success breeds success. Everyone sees you with that many listings they can't help but think that you're successful. That's the way it works. Here's my challenge with that mentality. It's kind of like putting something or a, a, like a something, a product, a widget of some sort in the classifieds and just waiting for buyers to contact you. So then, so then what are you really, right? Like you're just simply processing deals and it becomes just about processing deals. It's transactional and it's about processing as many transactions as possible, right? What, what, some things sell, some things don't, right? Get a lot of listings, it doesn't matter if they don't sell. The large inventory just increases your odds to create a consistent income, right? So it doesn't matter, just keep doing it. Just keep piling on the listings. Don't worry about the casualties along the way, more listings, equals more money. You gotta make the money. They don't all sell. So what? Some will, some won't. So what? Next, go get another one. Just go get another one. I was that person. It was my goal to get a bunch of listings. I was carrying 25 to 50. I think I almost had a hundred listings at one time and I was busy, right? Like, sure, I was making money. People looked at my ads and, and all my listings and, and they thought I was successful. And, and if you asked me, I would have told you the same thing, right? <laughs> me? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm successful. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. If it's meant to be, it's up to me, right? <laughs> I became ego dominated and I couldn't stand it when someone else in another office or anywhere else. Any, anybody else got another listing, it ticked me off. It became about winning. That's all it became about. It was a never ending battle all the time, trying to, trying to keep the branding going and trying to keep the branding strong, trying to stay ahead of the other top competitors out there. And, and people called me to talk to them about listing because I, I was out there so much. And so it did work, it worked, right? I attracted a lot of strangers. It was working, but 
I couldn't manage it all by myself either. I had to build a team. I had to add people to deal with the buyers who called us from listings and I, and I needed someone to deal with the listing maintenance aspects of things, right? Booking showings, placing ads, communicating with sellers, loading photos and tours and videos and coordinating all that kind of stuff with all the different professionals for that. Making sure brochures were out there and, and then coordinating all of the open houses. I had no time to properly prepare for open houses. I would just show up, plunk signs up. I, a lot of times was late and I'm opening the door. There's people waiting. I'm unprepared. I don't have my stuff there. Like I was in this frantic pace all the time. I wasn't in control of the business. And I actually like met maybe half of the buyers that we attracted off the listing inventory. And I, and I netted less than half the money when they bought because I had no relationship with those buyers. I, I wasn't the one communicating with, with my listing clients because I had a secretary dealing with that and another person dealing with that. And I wasn't communicating with the buyers. So what was going on? Like half the time, I didn't even know if a listing fell off the market. I barely noticed. I was so focused on just hunting for more, hunting for more, hunting for more. And plus throughout all of this, I was constantly in this mode of where's all my money going? Like I had no idea. I know there's a lot of money coming in. I mean, where's it all going? Seriously, like I, I deposited over 50 grand this month. Where did it all go? And first off, it can be very expensive to maintain a large inventory of listings. You need more people. They want to make some money. You have to market and promise results to these sellers. So all of the things that you need to do to market the listings cost money. The leads generated from these listings need to be dealt with. And, and if you don't have the time to deal with them, then those leads are going to kind of fall through the cracks. And that costs you money. So then what do you do? You bring on more people to deal with those leads. And then you make a smaller percentage off of those people. But does that help you build your business? This is supposed to be the leverage part that Gary Keller's talking about, right? Use people to leverage your success to be a millionaire real estate agent. And they will tell you it does. And, I, and I'm here to tell you, it doesn't. It doesn't. I was paying all the costs. I was taking all the risk. I managed everyone. I was the name and the brand behind it all. So I was paying for everything to help other people build their businesses. Everybody else was making money because they had to get paid. And that's all I did. I financed their success. And in truth, the true result was eventually was that I was actually financing my competition. So who was actually getting the leverage, <laughs> right? They were leveraging me to build their businesses. And like an idiot, I did it all so that I could look successful. Now, you can disagree with me if you like. I mean, you can say, oh, well, you know, those, those are supposed to be your clients. They can't take them. Didn't you have a good client management system, right? <laughs> I did. I even had people operating it for me to make sure nothing fell through the cracks. <laughs> but it may surprise you to know that nobody owns a client. I may have a bunch of people in my database, but I don't own them. If you're thinking that way, you got to get that in your, your head right now because this is really important. You have to continue to earn their business. You can't brand them like cattle. When I took the time and I broke it all down, I went over the stats and I managed to maintain a database of some pretty loyal clients, but I also lost a lot of business. I don't even know how much I lost. More than, I, more than I'll ever know. And I, and I really don't want to know, to be honest, because it's going to, it'll probably freak me out. But I made a crucial discovery. Until you actually go through the battle, until you actually have been out there long enough making the mistakes until you've been truly humbled and come to a place of reflection and eventually clarity, then you won't be able to see the truth. Your ego can either be your best friend and ally, or it can be your worst enemy. And in my case, it was my worst enemy then, but I was doing what they taught. I became the persona or the character or manufactured the idea of success that they taught me. Now I'm not shifting all the blame, but I was doing what was taught. Coming, coming to that discovery was really painful at, work, at first and I was really angry. I was so angry at myself. But after I sorted through everything and the clarity set in, I was actually fired up. It became so clear. And, and when I started to put it into practice, it worked. It worked better than I thought. But more than anything, the most wonderful thing about it was that I began to see that if I could teach this to people, then I believe 
anyone can make a lot of money in real estate. Anyone, anyone can do it. You don't have to be a heavy hitter, a listing machine, a superhero real estate professional. You can be yourself and just operate with the proper intentions, with a proper plan, without using salesy scripts and, and create a highly, highly profitable business that is evergreen. It's always alive and it's constantly producing fruit. And you can experience results fast. Think of your business like a garden, an organic business that's constantly growing, constantly producing fruit, and you're constantly planting and constantly pruning and watering and nurturing. This is the most profitable, the most satisfying, and the most gratifying business. My wife and I work together with no assistance, and we earn multiple six figures a year, and we retain upwards of multiple six figures a year, and we take at least three to four vacations a year and we go camping with our trailer and we live our lives. Could we put a team together and build that business up to 30 to 50 listings and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, totally, we could do that, but I don't wanna do that. We decided to keep it under 15 and we sell our listings and we're very good at attracting business and more leads off of those listings and that's how it's done. That's the magic. So I'm gonna give you a taste of how we teach things in the Forex Formula Real Estate Training Course. Here's the four ways to get listings and then create unstoppable leads because that's the difference. So here it is right here. The four pillars, attract, attain, serve, retain. Do every single one of these things really, really well and you'll never run out of leads to serve. Get really good at attracting business. Then you get really good at winning the business once you've attracted it. Get good at doing those meetings, attaining the business when the opportunities come to you, right? Then you serve. You serve really well, employing the right mindsets and tools that we give and the activities to make sure that you're serving really, really well in order to create success and get your listings sold, make sure your buyers get homes, all that kind of stuff. Get really good at that. And then you get really good at retaining the business. Most people, if you, if you actually really analyze their business, most people are good at either one of these four or maybe two of these four pillars. Every one of these pillars gets you listings. Attract, attain, serve, retain. How do you break down the various business opportunities out there. This is the thing. This is where a lot of people miss out. And this is why a lot of agents think that they have to spend a lot of money on branding themselves and, and they need to have a lot of listings because they don't even know how much business is falling through the cracks while they're out there being successful. Here's how I break it down. There's the now business. There's a lot of now business out there. And I don't care where you're doing business. There is now business out there. Right now, check the hot sheets today. Daily stats, most boards have that. Did a few sales get reported? Did a few new listings come into the system? That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. There is already a flow of business happening all the time in all of North America. So you just need to divert some of it your way. Get into the flow. Where is the now business? Okay, so to, to stay with our organic theme, you look for the low hanging fruit. Where's the low hanging fruit right now? Where's that now business? Now we know there's for sale by owners are selling their homes. They want to sell. They want a buyer to buy their home, right? Is there a leverage point there with the for sale by owners? There is. What about people who failed to sell expired listings or canceled listings? Where are they at now? Why didn't they sell? Is there an opportunity there? Where did they want to go? What was their plan? Is the plan different now? Maybe. Buyers. Are there buyers out there right now looking to buy? Where are most of the buyers Buying. What product type do they buy? Do buyers ever have to sell something? Yeah, 50% of the buyers out there that you run across have something to sell. So figure out how to market that product to attract that buyer. A buyer is money in the bank. What about strategic alliances that know people or could connect now people to you? Have you nurtured strategic alliances, mortgage brokers, financial planners, construction workers, and other professionals that are out there right now that run into people all the time? And of course, the best now business, the absolute number one best business, hands down, is the referral business. You always have to be nurturing referrals by inspiring people 
to refer business to you. My wife and I, we received four calls last week from past clients who want to make a move. And two of them, or we had two other people referred to us from past clients. So we met them and they're now business now. And we're working on solutions for them right now. Past business is the best now business. You never know when it's going to come, right? But, but if you're building a true 4X business, attract, attain, serve, and retain, then, it's, then it will just happen for you. That's the 4X business. Get great at all four pillars and you can't help but succeed in real estate. Okay, so the second level of business, the second level of business, the soon business. The fruit's coming, but it's not quite ready yet. And that's okay. Would you be okay if you always had a few people in this stage? You know the time is coming, you know it is. You're part of the plan and you're part of their plan. While you're working on the now business, you're constantly nurturing the soon. You're watering this, right? Drip campaigns. You're cultivating it and you're always planting seeds to create more business at the same time. Pay attention to every detail, every lead, every lead, and just figure out where they're at in the process. Where are they at? What stage are they at? Who can you engage to help them and keep them keep them in the process? What do they need in order, in order to make an appropriate plan. They're just in the planning stages, right? Well, most people in the planning stages need information in order to make a plan. They need to have a good meeting with uh, the mortgage lender and get their ducks in a row to make a proper plan. Then when it's go time, everyone is on the same page and we're all going at the same speed and we're going full speed, right? No sense even embarking on the mission until the plan is ready to implement. Does that make sense? But then there's the third level. Here's the third level. The future business. This is the future nurture type of business. They must stay top of mind. You have to create mind share. I talk about this all the time. Make sure that you're relevant. You've developed a certain level of relationship and you utilize all of the different elements to cause this to happen. You're, you're face to face with them. You hand deliver things to them, items of value. You may be able to get their email addresses and phone numbers so that they're receiving emails, texts, phone calls from you. They're witnessing your marketing on social media and possibly they may see what's going on in their own neighborhood, what you're doing. You're everywhere to them. And this is the seed planting. And when people talk about you, seeds are planted. When you meet someone new, a seed is planted. When someone sees your marketing, a seed is planted. When you do a good deed, a seed is planted. And when you support local businesses, when you become a person of value in some way, when, you, when you're seen to be working, all of those seeds are planting and germinating all the time. Now, when you get a phone call or an inquiry, or you can meet someone at an open house, how do people see you? Do they see you as someone who is untouchable, a superhero, someone who is beyond them? Or do they see you as someone that they can relate to? Someone who is their confidant, someone who is in their corner, someone that they can trust, someone who fulfills their promises and exceeds expectations. And if they see that in you, you'll never, ever, ever have to worry about business coming in. You never have to worry about people referring business to you. And that brings us to number four, the underground root system. This is the referral business. And here's the neat thing. This referral business can come from all levels. I've had referrals come to me from people that I've never done business with. And, and I've had referrals come to me from people while I'm in the middle of helping them. The deal is not even done yet. The now, the soon, and the future, and the past clients all go into the root system. And strategic alliances all in here are all referral sources. Everything is a referral source. This is where your raving fans want to support you because you wowed them. You helped them with their life change. You're part of their lives. They're thankful they met you. They trust and they respect you because you have relationship. You're not just simply 
processing and leveraging deals, right? Does that make sense? This is where the law of reciprocity and the law of sowing and reaping come into play here. They want to support you because you deserve it. This business is the best business you will ever receive. It's free to obtain. You did your job. You served well. You're a positive influence in someone else's life and now they're rewarding you with their confidence by telling other people about you. Now let me ask you this. Can I give world-class service to 30 to 50 listing clients? If I have 20 to 50 buyer leads coming in from those listings and I need to figure out how to serve them, what do I do? I whittle everything down to the now business. That's all I can focus on. I can only focus on the now business, right? I throw the rest away for my competition to take. I hear this all the time. I work with people all the time that say, you know, I called up four to five other agents and nobody has offered to help me. Are you kidding me? That blows my mind. That's free business. That's now business. Or maybe it was soon business, right? Soon becomes now. That's money in the bank. But they don't see it because they're so busy processing and transacting, right? Because they have to stay on the hamster wheel just to keep the money machine fed and operating. Meanwhile, the lead came to you and you focused on the relationship. Do you need to spend a bunch of money convincing people that you're successful? Do you need to carry a large inventory of listings? No, you simply need to understand how to integrate your business building and business nurturing activities to be interwoven together to achieve those results and save a bunch of money. Your billboards are your growing client base, your root system. And they're underground. No one sees them. No one sees where they are. They pop up all over the place and they do it for you. That's who scatters more seeds than you could ever scatter by yourself. Does this make sense? That's where the, the, the roots of your business start to grow underground and they spread to places that you would never even think of reaching. And then the leads, they just start popping up. They just start popping up, pop, 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 pop. It's awesome. And any one of you watching or listening right now can create this starting today. Okay, I think I'm running out of time. Have I convinced you? Do you agree with me that it, it's possible to make a lot of money without all of those strategies that are being taught out there right now? I'm really hoping that you're a new agent just starting out in the business and, and you're hungry for information because you're exactly who I'm looking for. Please comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want more information like this, click the little bell and then you'll know as soon as the next video drops, okay? Thank you for watching and listening today. I really do appreciate you. Go out there and make a great day. Hey, thanks for listening. I hope you found some value that you can apply right away into your business. Can I assume that you wanna be better than average? You wanna be a successful realtorpreneur? Can I assume that being in the bottom 80% of agents fighting for 20% of the scraps is not good enough for you? What are your beliefs about successful real estate agents? Is it about spending a bunch of money on branding yourself so that all the people in your area, including the other agents in your area, think that you're really successful? Have you been told the more that you're willing to spend on self-promotion, the more successful that you're gonna be? What about time output? Do you believe that you need to be working 12 hours a day to make a lot of money in real estate? Do you think that it takes a certain ability or personality type to make a lot of money in real estate? What about lots of listings? Do you believe that you need to have a lot of listings to make a lot of money? What about getting leads? Do you believe that you have to pay money for leads or door knock or cold call really well or be a phone master in order to get leads and in turn make a lot of money in real estate? What about social media? Do you believe that people who make a lot of money in real estate are great at social media and that's it? Listen, I'm here to tell you, no. These are all false beliefs. The first truth that you need to understand is that any person from any background can make a boatload of money in real estate. The only thing missing for real estate agents like yourself is a workable system infused with knowledge and understanding of every step. Would you like to know how to stir up business when you need it? I call it turn it on the tap. And over time, while building the business, it's along the way to create a massive referral network so you never have to spend time and money to get more leads. 
That's what I call the dream business. And it took me 17 years of banging my head against the wall, applying all of those other strategies that everybody teaches, working 12 to 15 hours a day, spending tons of money on marketing, carrying 30 to 50 listings at a time, and then I figured it out, tested it with other people. And after that, I spent three years building a course to help people create their own dream business. I'm living it right now, and I'm not special. I just figured it out, and I broke it down into a workable plan. Do you want to know more? Go to 4xformula.com, get the free training now, and just see if we're a good fit. That's 4xformula.com. Click on free training, the number 4xformula.com.